This is the new iPad mini and we've got a lot to talk about. I've had the new iPad mini since Friday. Today is Monday and no, that's not long enough to do a comprehensive review, but it has been long enough to one, get to the bottom of what's going on here, and two, to answer your questions, which we'll get onto in a moment. Firstly, a very quick history lesson. This is the iPad mini fifth generation, and it still turns on, which is awesome. I bought this many, many years ago and fell in love with it straight away, mainly because of its size. Then, in 2021, we got the iPad mini six, which completely changed the game. They got rid of Touch ID from the front, they put it up here, they got rid of the big bezels, they gave us a retina display, a new chip, a new camera system, and once again I fell in love with it straight away. I made loads of videos about it, and loads of you watched them, thank you if you did, and I, th I think that is where the problems start, because I don't know how big that audience is. To me it's massive, huge, but I've always worried that it's not quite as big for Apple, and equally I don't really know what the target market is for the iPad mini. Now, who is buying these things? Because We've had to wait three years for this, and on the face of it, it's not that different to the, to the one that it replaces. They seem very similar. And that begs the question, why didn't Apple make all those changes that you and I wanted? I think I've got to the bottom of that, and I will have loads of iPad mini content on the way, so if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. And on that note, guys, 87% of the people who watch this channel regularly aren't subscribed. So if that's you, just give it a click. Thank you. And just a very quick word from today's sponsor, which is Paperlike. Now I've not put Paperlike on this iPad mini because it's not mine, this is Apple's, but my iPad mini is on the way and, and the first thing I'll do is put one of these on it. That's for two reasons. Firstly, it protects the screen and secondly, it makes the screen feel like paper, hence the name. Now if you use your iPad mini or any iPad for writing, drawing, illustrating, you need a Paperlike. Trust me, this is a no-brainer purchase. Every single iPad that comes into this studio has a paper like applied, you will not believe the difference. And they don't just do screen protectors either, they have a fantastic grip for your Apple Pencil and one of the most innovative screen cleaners I've ever seen. I absolutely love paper like and I think you will as well. To find out more, just click that link in the description. Okay, specs and pricing for the iPad mini 7. So it has the A17 Pro chip, which is the same chip as the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM, which is double the amount of RAM from last time. It's got the same 8.3 inch liquid retina display as the iPad mini 6 and the same camera system with one tweak, which I'll explain later. It supports the Apple Pencil Pro, it's got Touch ID, and there's four colors, Space Gray, Blue, Purple, and Starlight. And yes, you can get matching smart folios for those colors. In terms of storage, there's three options. We'll put the pricing for those down below, but basically they've got rid of the 64 gig one, and we now have 128 as the starting point, then 256, and then 512, which is another, it's a new storage tier, basically. And I think that looks pretty good in terms of a lineup. But what do those specs mean? Let's talk about what's new with the iPad mini 7. So the first thing is Apple intelligence. This is the, the headline feature. It's the first thing you see on the web page when you go and buy one of these things. And I can't talk about it at the moment because I'm in the UK, it's October, and we don't get it until December. I'm waiting for Apple intelligence, so when it comes, I will give you an updated review on this because it's clearly the thing that Apple is pinning so much stuff on, and I just can't talk about it properly until then. However, I can talk about the A17 Pro chip. Now, this is the chip from the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. It offers up to 30% faster CPU, 25% faster graphics, and I decided to try a bunch of apps and games just to see what it's like. So I tried Lightroom, ZBrush, ForeFlight, Logic Pro, Final Cut Pro, and Resident Evil Village, and all of them performed amazingly. And that's what this iPad mini is all about. It's about squeezing all of that performance into a much smaller form factor. And if we put the ProMotion display to one side and all that stuff, these apps running on this tiny iPad, it's just so impressive. It's also compatible with the Apple Pencil Pro, which I'm a big fan of. This came out with the M4 iPad Pros early this year. It's got Barrel Roll, which is this thing where you kind of move the pencil around in your fingers and you can see the result of that on the display and very handy for shading and that sort of stuff. It's also got this squeezy haptic thing where if I squeeze it there, it feels like I'm clicking the, the pencil. It's, it's unbelievably effective and it brings up this menu on the screen where you can choose different tools and that sort of stuff. Very functional. The only slight downside is the fact that 
In transferring to the Apple Pencil Pro, we can no longer use the second generation Apple Pencil on the iPad mini. I think because this has a different magnet, so they've had to change the magnets on here to match that, which means the second generation Apple Pencil is a no-go. You can use the USB-C Apple Pencil with this, but if you want the one that does that and charges, you have to get the Apple Pencil Pro. This also has faster USB-C speeds, so it goes up to 10 gigabits per second, whereas the iPad mini 6 was 5 gigabits per second. It has Wi-Fi 6E, which once again is faster. One of the other changes is that although the camera system is technically the same, it does now have Smart HDR4, which in theory should produce better photos in certain conditions. I've not tested that yet, but I will do. One of the other things they've changed is it's eSIM only. So they've got rid of the option to have a, a SIM card tray, basically, which we used to get in the, in the UK. They've got rid of that completely. It's just eSIM only. The other tiny little detail that's different is that it now says iPad mini down here rather than just iPad, which isn't a big change, but is quite nice and that's it really we do have new folios like i mentioned earlier which are very nice color matched as well but uh, we need to talk about what we didn't get now i've made a list of things that we didn't get on the ipad mini 7 that some of us wanted the first thing is a new display this is the exact same display as the ipad mini 6 500 nits of peak brightness 60 hertz refresh rate no promotion the same bezels it's not oled it's the exact same display we don't get stage manager that's something else that you guys wanted well some of you wanted i'll be honest i don't quite understand that i, I, I wouldn't want to use i don't like stage manager anyway but i wouldn't use stage manager on a display this small and equally you can't plug it into an external display and then have the you know, the multiple windows thing going on either it, it doesn't support that at all we didn't get a new design this is this is the exact same design as that one we didn't get an m chip we got the a17 pro we didn't get face id touch id is still the you know the biometric security we didn't get the mini magic keyboard that i really really wanted that kind of raises the question why didn't we get that stuff and i think the answer to it is really simple i think most of those things Things, you know, an OLED ProMotion display, an M chip, everything else, the stage manager, face ID. Basically, we wanted an iPad mini Pro. What we got was the iPad mini, not an iPad mini Pro, which means they're not going to put all that stuff into it. Why would they do that? It, it would make no sense. It would firstly make it quite expensive, and secondly, it would potentially cannibalize sales of the iPad Air. Clearly, there's not a market for it. Apple knows this, they do their research, they know who's buying their products, and I've seen reports about the main, not the target market, but one of the main markets that has really picked up on the iPad mini is the corporate sector, so, you know, airlines are using it for aviation, you've got architectural firms that are using it for design and all that sort of stuff. It's the one-handedness, the fact you can put it into your, your flight trousers, whatever it is that, you know, people who, fly planes use you can you can very easily do that it's just clearly that it's really been picked up by that market it's, it's probably being bought in bulk by those industries i don't know that for definite i have no numbers on this but my guess that is what is happening and that is what's driving apple's research and development for the ipad mini and this comes back to what i was saying earlier i think we are part of a very exclusive fan club that wants something which economically doesn't quite work for apple there's two things that i would love i would love that mini magic keyboard it would make my day to have that secondly i'd love promotion promotion is the one thing i think that's missing from the ipad mini which just jars a little bit if you've been using an iphone with promotion or a, another ipad with promotion it does, it feels very different. It just, that is, but that's me. It's you, but it's not the big mass market for the iPad mini. But I know you've got questions and well, let's get them answered. Right, in front of me, I have the five most common questions asked by you guys in my previous iPad mini 7 video. Number one, is Apple slowly ridding itself of the iPad mini? They can't be because we have the iPad mini 7 and it's attached to Apple intelligence, which I think means it has a future and possibly quite a long one. Number two, will the iPad mini 7 support the Apple Pencil 2? As mentioned earlier, unfortunately not. You have to use the Apple Pencil Pro or the USB-C Apple Pencil. Number three, is the iPad mini 7 worth upgrading to from the iPad mini 6? Good question. I think if your battery is on the way out with your iPad mini 6, yes. And if you want Apple intelligence, yes. Otherwise, not really. And if you want an absolute bargain, hunt down an iPad mini 6 today because they're going for very, very nice money. 
as in they're quite cheap. However, if you have an iPad mini 5, it's a massive upgrade. Number four, have they fixed jelly scrolling? So many people ask this. This is when basically if you have text on the screen like that, if you do that, you can't see this on the on this camera at all, but if you do that, basically it kind of waves like that. It's the refresh rate and it doesn't do it in landscape, it's only in portrait. It does still do it a little bit on the iPad mini 7. I think it's been reduced a little bit. I, I genuinely think it's a bit better. However, it doesn't matter. Trust me, if you just use this thing, you do not notice it. Number five, I've already answered as well, it's can the iPad mini 7 be used with stage manager and external displays? No. Well, it can be used with an external display. You can plug it in a mirror, but you can't use stage manager and multiple windows. And this brings me on to my inevitable conclusion about the iPad mini 7. This is the Apple Intelligence iPad mini. It's as simple as that. And to get to that point, all Apple had to do was put a new chip in there, double the RAM, and that's it basically. That for them is enough. And it's clearly enough for the addressable market for the iPad mini. And again, Apple has to make devices for the market that wants them. And if, 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 you know, if there's a small portion of that market, no matter how big it is to you or I, that is asking for all this other stuff that costs a lot of money and time to put into that product and you know, results in a less profitable product, they're not going to do it. And I don't think you would. I don't think I would. However, the fact this exists, and it is a brilliant little tablet. This is still my favorite ever iPad. The fact we have this does give me hope that one day, maybe, we'll get an iPad mini pro. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want some more Apple content from me, hang around for a link to another video that I think you'll find very interesting.